is Saturday, everybody. Just me today. I got one sick kiddo, so just us. Hey, Janine is gonna do it tomorrow. Lori is here. Brielle, hello. Just finished yesterday's workout. Gonna do it tomorrow. Linda, David, Jen, hello, everybody. Dawn is here. Double up. Good for you. Jenny, hello. Kay, looking forward to a great workout. Me to Rhonda, happy Saturday and happy birthday, Rhonda. Rhonda celebrated a birthday this week. Courtney just got home from the trampoline park. That sounds like you already had a workout. Now it's my turn to work out. So glad you could finally make it. Carmela, hello, Mariah. Hi, Paige, Mariah's little one. Livia is here. Welcome, everybody. Today we are doing body weight Metcon. Stacy is here. Sandra in Kentucky. Loving Metcon. I'm so glad. Stacy, I'm glad you enjoyed our family picks. Yeah, we had a little mini spring break this week and <laughs> we had a great time and then one kiddo came back sick. So that is okay, but that's why I'm all by my lonesome today. And as you know, if you were here last week, I am recovering from a little bit of skin surgery. I'm a I'm a week or so out, so I'm good today, but I'm gonna go light on the upper body. I'll just show you what to do, and then you will do it. But lower body and core, we're gonna go for it because I am missing working out. Amanda, Elizabeth, Laura, Sherry, Dulcie, and Dave together. Good to see you, and Candace and Gus. Look at all of our couples today. All right, so we're gonna get it done. No time for a Q&A today, but I will in the cool down tell you a little bit about what's coming up for our last couple weeks. And next week I will be back. I have another little skin surgery, so I'll be back with another special guest. So get excited. Megan, gonna do it later. Having an ice cream date with Hazel. Hey, Hazel. Carrie, just Carrie today. Dotsie, Jody, Jessica is here. All right, team. So make sure you have some space. You don't need any equipment. We are gonna get it done just with body weight. Tamika and Terrence are here. Hi, guys. All right, so spread out. Let's go ahead and get to it. We're gonna start moving right through here. Rita is here. Roll those shoulders. Let's try to get warm. So in case you missed it, just had a little skin surgery on my back. Not a big deal, but a few little stitches back there. So I'm going to be careful today. Last week, Kurt was my special guest doing all of the hard work because I was just a day out. And next week, I will have a special guest again. So get excited for that. But today it's me, but I'll take it easy on the arms. Hey, Laura from Philadelphia. Let's take it right here. Open up. I'm not going to go very wide, but I want you to, to really stretch. Oh, that feels good, right? Let's add a little side lunge to it right through here. Just opening up the hips. Remember in this warm up, it's not about getting those static stretches. It's about getting the heart rate up, getting our body's core temperature up reach and reach and of course getting mobility work movement prep so a little rehearsal for your workout right so bring it in let's squat it down hey Mel in Washington and Katie in snowy Michigan hope everybody is staying warm squat and knee hip circle getting low right through here Yes. Let's get one more. And we're gonna hinge it down right through the front of the legs, bring it up, and then pull back. I'm gonna keep my range of motion small, but you can go a little bigger right through here. Open up the chest, squeeze in those arms. A couple more just like that. Open and let's take it down in that hinge. So Start with the hands on the top of the legs. Roll through that back cat cow. Again, I'm gonna keep my range of motion kind of small. Kelly, Memphis checking in, gonna do it tomorrow. Then if you can, take your hands to the ground. Let's get a little foot pedal. So just getting that stretch if you need to, keep the hands right up here. Then if you can, Let's walk your feet back to that high plank. If this is not right for you, you just take it to the knees or you stay up top. We'll just do a little forward and back for the core. And then if you're able, I'm gonna drop one knee, but you don't have to get it in that little world's greatest stretch. You can also come up through here 
Reach it up and under if you want. I'm gonna keep it small. But you can go all the way up. Way through there. And then let's switch our sides. So other side, I'm gonna drop the knee. You can drop the knee or you can take it up. You can reach up and reach under. Little drop right through here. Yes, team. Then back to that core again. If you want a little press up to down dog, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go child's pose up to plank. But if you can, you can go up to that down dog and breathe. One more. Walk those hands back. Slowly roll it up. All right, let's have it reach across. Amanda, very first live. Cassie is catching up on Wednesday and Friday back for the slide tomorrow. Hey, Amy in Virginia. All right, take it over your head. Again, I'm keeping small range of motion. Basically, I'm just trying not to pull on those stitches in the back. Totally okay, my skin is healing. Reminder to get your skin checks. Let's go hamstrings right through here. All right, so here's what we got. You know the drill if you were here last week, kettlebell metcon or dumbbell metcon. First round, we got 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Round two, 30 seconds of work, around 15 seconds of rest, but there may be a few things that we don't need that much time. So we're gonna get it done. Think lower, upper, and core. It's gonna move quickly. We will be done before you know it. So have fun. You know I'm gonna give you lots of options. The name of the game is to just keep moving. That's all that we need. So your very first move, we're gonna go right side, left side. You're gonna step out into that squat. So watch me. You're gonna pulse three, two, one. Tap it in. Same leg goes back, lunge. Three, two, one. Tap it in. If you want, you can just do the tap. If you want a little power, drive the knee up. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So pulse for three. Tap it in or drive it up. Same leg traveling, same leg stationary. Here we go. Sit low. Three, two, one. In, lunge it. Remember, you're stepping back on the train tracks. So hip distance apart. Ooh, it feels good to move. I've been taking a, a break from, obviously, a whole lot of upper body and a whole lot of holding weights. I'm trying to get moving. But feels good to move my body. Jennifer is going snowshoe, snowshoeing. Also a tough workout. Remember, you can drive that knee if you want. Get low, drive it up, woo! And breathe, yes, shake it out. So we're gonna get the exact same thing other side. So a few of the lower body will be right side, left side, a little bit of the core, but we're gonna get it done quickly. All right, catch your breath. Shoulders back, step out wide, sit low, tap it in or drive the knee up, back into that regular lunge. In three, two, one, here we go. Sit low and breathe, tap it up and back. Remember you can drive that knee up, hand up. Push into that front heel so all that work, both legs are working, but this leg has the control. Tap it in or drive the knee up. Low. Yes, you can. Team. Boom. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Catch your breath, meet me down on the mat. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna show you this one. I'll keep it small. We're gonna come all the way down. Now, if you need to stay up top, you're gonna be here. You're just gonna lower those elbows and pulse if you need to stay on all fours. If you can go all the way down, we're coming up elbows in for triceps, pulse three, two. Just think pushing your chest off the ground. And then on the, third, on the fourth one, drive it all the way up. Slowly down. It's a little cobra pulse, three, two, one. Then drive all the way up on the push-up. When you come in the push-up, you can be on your knees or toes. I'm gonna go knees and I'm gonna let you do most of the work. Here we go. So we're pulsing three, two, just getting that chest off the ground. And then on your fourth one, all the way up to plank, slowly down. Elbows in, so we get lots of tries here. Two, one, fourth one, drive it up. Slowly down. 
Right here, bring those elbows in. Remember again, if you need to be on your knees, three, two, one. And then you can pop up to here, or if you wanna take your knees off the ground. 10 seconds. Pulse, little baby cobra, lifting the chest, but using your arms to do it. Then all the way up, all the way through the upper body and the core. One more if you got it. And breathe. Nice work, team. Let's stay down here on your back for a little bit of core. Slowly down. If you need to modify, whew, you can take it to just a little bridge. I'm gonna be super careful here. I'm gonna lift my shoulders for this, but you're gonna go toe taps and then reach it out. Now, I'm gonna sit here for upper body, but if you want toe taps and then bicycle. You can stay lifted or you can be down and come up for the bicycle, totally up to you, but toe taps or heel taps, then legs out. Upper body can do what you want. Wrap it in right here. Here we go. Toe, toe, out, out. I'm being lifted because it actually feels better on my incision, but you can be here to here and then lift up and right, or you can just be down the entire time. Totally up to you. Wrap that core in, right? So everything's pulled in, tilt the pelvis, navel to spine, think about a little button, buttoning up or tacking down your rib cage. Three, two, one, back up on to your feet, team. Let's do it all again, but we're gonna do it for 30 seconds. A couple of options. If you want, you can stay low the whole time instead of coming up out of it. And if you want, you can cross it into that curtsy. Totally up to you. Here we go, squat it. Three, two, one, tap it in. Regular or curtsy. And again, if you wanna stay low, just pulse. Three, two, one. It's a good little burn, why not? Two, one, you can curtsy. Three, two, one, take it here. Three, two, one, ha! Five seconds, what do you got, team? Weight in the heels. Three, two, one. Shake it out. We're gonna actually take those 15 seconds because it's a good burn. Squat out to the side, lunge to the back, pulse for three, pulse for three. You can stay low, you can tap it in and come up. You can take it to the curtsy. You do you. Here we go. Three, two, one, up and in. Or stay low. Right through here. Right through here. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You do you. Be where you are today. I'm demonstrating that today, especially with my upper. Five seconds. Get low. Get down there. Yes. And relax. Ha. All right, bring it down here. We're going to do that little baby cobra pulse for three all the way up. You can do it from the knees if you need to, or take it all the way down, but hang with me. Here we go, 30 seconds. Little pulse, pressing the chest off the ground, then all the way up from the knees or the toes. Right through here, elbows in on that cobra pulse. Use your arms to do it, and then use your entire core to come all the way up. So the little cobra pulse getting the chest off the ground Think about using just the upper body. And then use that core as you come up. Five seconds, four, three, two, and relax. Over onto your back, catch your breath. You know what to do. You can keep those shoulders lifted, you can keep them down, but heel, heel, bicycle, bicycle, tilt the pelvis, here we go. Tap, tap. With shoulders lifted, just the lower, the shoulders down, or all the way up. Woo! Yes, you know what? Tap, tap, reach, and reach. Five, four, three, two, and one. Catch your breath, team! Woo! Happy Saturday, Paula! Quick sip of water, look at that! We're already on 
almost halfway through this workout. I told you it was gonna go quickly. All right, team, so let's jump right into our next move. You can take a second, shake everything out, tap it out, whatever you need to do. Watch me here. We're gonna combine some things here, so you're gonna like it. All right, so we are going to go to a one-legged or a kickstand deadlift. So this is your lower, but what I want from it is once you're here, you're gonna walk that foot back, upper body, walk that foot in, drive it up. So you're here, you can put that foot down, but the same leg is going in and back, right? So you're coming up on that same side, just so we really get that pull from the top. So again, you can hinge from here and walk it back, or you can hinge from here and walk it back, but hamstring, glute, if you don't want to walk it back, you just keep it up high. All right, we got 40 seconds, right? In three, two, one, here we go. So kickstand, walk them both back, walk that forward in, and up, woo, balance, right? Here, walk it back, walk it up. Drive it here, right? So kickstand, I just want that right leg or whatever leg is forward to be doing the majority of the work. Here, whoo team, yes, down. Walk it back or pop it back. And up, we got five seconds. So we're getting upper and relaxed, little stretch. So lower body move, but obviously we're getting the upper body and core working as well. If you're not into that, you just keep it up top. Wrap that core, shoulders back, in three, two, one. Here we go. So hinge, walk it back, walk it in, drive it up. Hinge, back, up, or one leg, pop it back, in, and up. You do you. If you just want to do the hinge right through here, that works, or just that deadlift. My stitches are more on this side, so I feel it a little more. I'm going to be careful. Here we go. So walk it back if you can. Walk it in and drive it up. Woo! Breathe. Up to you. Last one. Stretch it out. All right, team. So we're taking it all the way down again. So I want you to think of your Superman move. If this is not right for you, you're gonna do bird dog. You're gonna pull that elbow in, pull that heel in, and reach and down. Bird dog, here, here. So this is the move that we're going for. If you're able, we're coming here. I'm gonna keep it small. We're staying lifted. We're gonna pull the elbows and the heels in, reach it out. Elbows and the heels. If you need to rest it down in between, you can. Just keep that squeeze in your back. Lifting up in three, two, take it out right here. So it's that little W pull and reach. Squeeze, heels go in as elbows go in. Now, I'm keeping it pretty small. My range of motion is gonna be here to here, but you can really extend it up. Stay lifted. So we're getting all through the back, those upper body pull motions, right? Squeezing while we also squeeze glutes and hamstrings. So this is our, this whole round is really compound moves. We're gonna feel it with the core as well. So we get compound working as well. Keep it going. So we got upper and lower. Squeeze, stay lifted. Three, two, one. Stretch it back, little child's pose. All right, speaking of keeping it moving, it's a little bit of a climber, but here's what we want. We're going to reach back if you can, if you need that knee down, reach back, and then four, three, two, one. Reach and reach. Here we go. So squeeze to the back, squeeze to the back, four, three. You don't have to run it, you can tap it too. If you need to, knee down, right through here. Knee down, right through here. And then you can do bird dog, three, two, up to you. Squeeze upper body, squeeze upper body and back, four, three, two, yes. Little lift, yes team. Here we go, four, three, two, 
one, and relax, stretch it back up to the top, team. All right, so don't worry, Paula, I am being careful. That's why we're keeping it a lot of isometric, just holding. All right, so we got 30 seconds. Here's what we got, team. If you want, you can take it. We've done this before. It looks like a one-legged burpee. It is totally optional. You can keep what we did with the kickstand, the walk it back, or if you want, and I'm only gonna show you one, so watch it. You can go here, 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 drive it up. That one leg takes all of the work. You do you, that's not where I am today. But you can keep the kickstand, you can do the one-legged burpee, or you can walk it back. We got 30 seconds each side, wrap that core, shoulders back, three, two, one, right here. Down, walk it back or jump it back, in, drive it up. Or again, remember, you can just do, in fact, I might do this on this round to give my back a little break. So up to you. You can do the kickstand or one-legged, you can jump it back or walk it back, come up out of it, or you can be here with me, just driving it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick little stretch, let's do it all on the other side. So lots of that posterior chain, right? Glutes, hamstrings, lots of core, adding in some upper body because this is our compound round. Let's do it, here we go. Down, walk it back or jump it back in, and up, that one-legged burpee, one time. Whoo, breathe, and up. Oh, I missed that. Or just your kickstand, or just your hinge. Yes, you can. Breathe right through here, core engaged. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. Little stretch down onto your tummy. If you can be all the way down, remember we're doing that Y pull or that W pull, squeezing your back, squeezing those heels. Or if you're doing from bird dog, you're going opposite arm, opposite leg. You got 30 seconds. Join me right here. Here we go. Squeeze. Now again, I'm gonna keep my range of motion pretty small. You can reach those arms all the way in front. You can even drop them down in between. But really think all through the back of your body, right? Those posture muscles, squeeze in the shoulder blades, lengthen through the arms, lift those legs up so you can get lower, glutes, hamstrings, right? Everything we just worked. Three, two, one. Relax, stretch it back. All right, team. So if you're modifying, you're staying on your knees, reach back, reach back, keeping the back working, and then we're running it for three, two, one, here we go. So it's reach, it's reach, four, three, two, one. Modification on the knees, squeeze, squeeze, four, three, two, one. Right through here, lift, lift, run it, four, three, two. So close right here, let's get it done, team. Four, three, two, and relax. Stretch it back. Quick sip of water. Team, grab a sip. Let's take it down to the mat. We are almost there. Woo. All right, let's take it down. How about a little round on the mat? It's gonna go quick. So down onto your back. We're gonna start with that little bridge march. So watch me here. I'm not gonna do this one, but you guys can. So you're gonna lift it up, knees in, knees in, drop it down. If that's too much, you just do the bridge. So we're gonna go to the bridge, then we're gonna get some upper, then we're gonna get some core, and we're gonna do it all again. 40 seconds, join me here, tilt the pelvis in three, two, one, right here. Lift it up if you can. Knees, knees, and down. Obviously I can't do that for obvious reasons because that's right where my stitches are. But I want you to think, drive up through those heels. Really think about squeezing in the glutes and hamstrings, connecting with the core. And then on that march, really lift. All right, Daniela in Romania is just coming to say hi because she's doing dinner. Enjoy. And Jenny in Finland. 
If you're wondering how I know these people are either in the athletic club or the show up and keep moving group, we would love for you to join us. Three, two, one, and relax. Turn onto your side. Guess what? We are going to combine our upper and our core. So we got 40 seconds. Side plank, you can just hold it. Or who remembers this one where we do a little push up on the side just like that, little push up. Totally optional if you just wanna hold the side plank, you can do that too, but let's get 40 seconds each side. Here we go. You can also be on your knee, lean into it, drive it up, pull it back. Lean into it, drive it up. Or you're here, and up. If you need to modify, either hold the side plank or just do a little leg lift, right? You can still get this here. Turn into it, and up. So it's a little push, upper. There we go. And breathe. Keep it going. 10 seconds. You can just hold with me if that's better. Or turn in, small little push. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get the same thing, other side, then we're doing it all again. So our last round, upper and core are together. So just a side plank. Modify side plank, just a leg lift, or turn into it, little push and pull. So push and then squeeze in the back. Lift it up in three, two, one. Here we go. Push and pull right here, either with the knee. Again, if side planks are not right for you, you do you. Turn into it. We're getting obliques. We're getting core. We're getting tricep push. We're getting a little pull in the back, all right? It gets sometimes tricky to get that upper body with body weight, but it can certainly be done without doing a million push-ups. We really haven't done any push-ups, right? Disguise them right here, right here. And push. And up. We got five, four, three, two, one. Back onto your back. Let's get it done quickly, team. So slowly down, we're going back to that bridge march or just your bridge. Or if you're me, I'm just gonna march it from here. It is up to you, but we got 30 seconds. Let's get it done. So if you can, take it up. March, march, slowly down. Or just march if you're me. A little half bridge, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, there's an option. Not coming all the way up, right? But if you can, really lift, not just to get that mobility and that flexibility, but to really squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings. Five seconds. We got four, three, two. Roll to your side. Try to start on that side that you weren't just on. All right, team. Hey, Elozi is late, but you can do it. All right, we're taking that little push. 30 seconds. You can just hold if you're with me or you can take it, add a little triceps in three, two, one, lift it up. So I'm just gonna hold on, I'm gonna hold on my knee. Again, another option would just be a leg lift, right? You'll get that oblique on the top. If you just wanna hold, zip up that core. If you wanna get that turn into it, little push. Again, keeping the elbow in, so that push is elbow extension, triceps, and then as you come up, squeeze in the back. Yes, team, take it here. We got five, four, three, two, one. And relax, stretch it over. Same thing, other side. 30 seconds here, team. We are gonna get it done. Here we go, lift it up. Knee is fine. And then if you want, little tricep push and pull. You're turning your shoulders into it, lowering that elbow, and then you really have to focus on pushing through the triceps, right? So elbow extension. You could also do this with me, right? Right up here. Woo. Yes, team, 10 seconds. Boom. You got it. Ah. We got three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, up onto your feet. I think we got time for a bonus move, and let's keep it up top. Why not? Because we did a lot of upper body and core from the mat. Let's finish it out right here. All right, so we are going to take it similar to what we did in the beginning. We're gonna pulse plie, pulse curtsy, 30 seconds here, 30 seconds here. If you wanna add a little core, 
you can add that knee, all right? 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. If that doesn't feel good, you take it to regular squat and regular lunge like we did in the beginning. But if you can, toes out, bonus, here we go. Three, two, one, cross it over. Three, two, one. You can pull that knee up, up if you want a little extra core. Woo! Keeping it up top. I told Kurt it was gonna be a little lower body heavy because of my stitches, but I feel like we got a lot of upper and core, right? Yes, team, get low. Last one, this side. Then switch it. Three, two, one. Cross it behind. Three, two, one. You can either come all the way up or you can stay low. And you do not have to be going the same pace as me. I know it's a little tricky to get from one side to the other, depending on your mobility. So you do you, but let's finish it out. We got five seconds, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, team. Woo! You did it. We're gonna keep this cool down pretty short. Catch your breath. And again, in case you missed it, no time for Q&A today, but go ahead and shake out those legs. Please make sure you get more of a stretch on your own. We just talked about stretching this week in the Body Fit Athletic Club. Little hamstrings here, you can take those arms big. About how it's less about really good to cool your body down. Those stretches are less important and it's more about getting stretches cumulatively throughout your day, throughout your week, to help release that tension, that tightness. What we get here, like right now, a little stretch right here, whew, is not enough. And it's less about trying to prevent soreness or speed up recovery at the end of a workout and more about just that underlying tension, those overuse things that we get sitting at our desk, looking at our phone, working in our computer, driving in our car trying to get the flexibility and mobility work from the cumulative effect. Hi, are you ready? Here is why this is the child that is not sick. And here is why <laughs> we have to go, right? While I can't do a Q&A, because where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah. To soccer, yes. So brother is on the couch sick. We're gonna go to soccer, whoo, big stretch right through here. If you can, one arm on the wall, little quad stretch. Make sure that you're on that mailing list and that you're subscribed here. Please like this video. We are going to whew, keep it going for two more weeks of Metcon, right? We got week four, week five, and then guess what? We're going into April Absolution. So also be sure to join next week for, whew, let's get a little stretch right through here since we got a lot on those arms. Be sure to join live next week. We'll have another special guest. We're actually doing a mini band live. If you don't have mini bands, don't worry. I'm gonna give you different options to do things with a dumbbell as well. But come, it's gonna be a good time. It'll be a fun special guest. Get some more stretching on your own. Thank you so much for being here today and bearing with me while well, I'm taking it a little easy. I still feel good, better than when I woke up. We had a rough night with a sick kiddo and now I'm feeling energized and ready to go. Let's get one big deep breath in. Can you do it? And out, you did it. That was your body weight Metcon workout. Can you say great job, everybody? Great job, everybody. Great job, everybody. I'll see you next time. <laughs> You did.